Hey guys, it is Jacob. This is part two. From I will try to use uh, Icebound Beam. I've tested it a little bit in town. For it to be efficient and to auto target, you need to go to up to settings uh, button, scroll down, and there's this option for Icebound Beam auto channel and auto aim. You need to uh, select both. What that does, select the when you start channeling yourself, I will tap two. space, start it channeling and auto targets the nearest target. Now I can just move and it will keep auto targeting the target. So that is what I will use for now, just because I need to delete bosses faster to not waste time. So yeah, <coughs> let's go. And I will swap to the Howling Gale later on. So I'm just continuing from where I stopped in the last video. Just put up, put on some like uh, skins. That's it. I'm sorry to inter Are you heading to? Stay safe when you get so from now on, I will be channeling myself. I will not be uh, like. I will not let her cast it herself, I will cast it myself. You know that I'm casting it myself because the circle around the skill is green instead of blue. And now I will just Captain go Wolf. forward. And hopefully kill everything with no issues because it is like five times more damage. Listen carefully. This is my dirge for you. Whoa! It really packs a punch. Oh! This antique from the church works like magic. It's an ambush. Partner, we should use the light tower to take them out. So yeah, everything is dying pretty quick. Hey, you! Stop right there! Tower above. Let's draw the Agatos there. All light towers have been activated. Partner, we gotta go after Lean. No one comes. Well, fine. The Vicar Bishop, eh? We'll find him right now. We need to hurry and find that vicar bishop. The tide still hasn't responded to my singing. Listen, good partner. There's no need to be polite to the church anymore. We're going to this church today, no matter what. <laughs> These skin. Toes are heading to the church. Give him a hand. 
Yeah, so far we're going pretty fast, right? Please keep moving forward. I must guard this. This place has fallen as well. I need the spark. <laughs> it's even auto targets all the like <laughs> destructible <laughs> items on the map. You. I won't allow that. It's a The tide still hasn't responded to my singing. You can't stop me. Help! Help me and I'll keep you right opposite the door. Like bubbles. You only need to start channeling again every time you do any interaction with anything. You need to start the channel again. Not that nice, but you just put on the auto target. Works really well. Something's going on up ahead, partner. I'll scout ahead. I can see your crow friend is still a doer. Sink beneath the tides. My song will reach every corner of the world. You're right on top. Who's there? Rumfrey, I'm sorry. The residential area is to the west of the plaza. Go fast. <laughs> Survival or experience gain. E bonus this one Need one more point to get my first movement speed back spirit going you just got this point uh, 24 here, let's take um, this. Am, am I even consuming mana? Like, like I'm not even consuming mana. Uh, means that this might actually work. Gains one stack of fog for every... Oh no, that's not this tree. That's the next tree I'll be going for on level 20. Unlocks at level 20. Level to okay <coughs> in skill new link what can I use here control spell mm. overload 
this, this. So this would be, I have five, so fifteen percent additional damage. Pretty. Take this. Will not be critting as much, but who cares? Who crit? And for here I want to get mana boy. Let's take some blessings and that's it from this tree. I got everything I wanted. <coughs> so let's continue to level 24. Sink beneath the tides. Be careful. The traps in these alleys are perilous. My song will reach every corner of the world. That's an alarm of the church. Make sure to stay away from it. Well, that's right. This road is full of dangerous traps, but has few enemies. Keegan was right. You betray her. Our reinforcements will be here soon. Going really fast now. Unholy sinners. The barrier is gone. Looks like those sentries are keepers of these traps. Once we take them out, we should be able to move on. Here I want to get elementalist for channel skills. Damage for channel skill damage, elemental damage. Let's do elemental. And at XP cast. That and I have one more packed spirit point. Change packed spirits, put on the one with movement speed. Or it's my 6% movement speed and plus another 30 if I haven't been hit recently. And let's continue. Much faster now. <clears throat> and recently means in the last 4 seconds. I don't want to get hit if possible. Light never fades. Um, reset in the uh, reset transmission by freezing monsters all the time. That's why I'm able to blink that fast. Level up skills. Rewards here. 
Continue. It's you. You are with the Akatomes, shameless intruders. Even if I had to give my everything, I would not back down. Since the they removed the thing from Blare steps that you lose it when you use other skills, or it might be the case only for this character, I'm not sure. But I can spam movement skill even while I have my bloody steps up and it stays up. You can see it on the upper left buff bar. Which is really nice, a quality of life thing. Let you move faster for free. That's it, yeah. Going really fast now. I'm just starting my mana ball at the start of every map. And it stays up until you like lose all mana, basically. So as long as you're able to regenerate mana fast enough. You should be able to keep it up infinitely. What a bunch of pose. I'll cover you. You find a way to take out that guy controlling the drone. Let's do this real quick. You know what? Let's kill the monsters first. Round. The tide still hasn't responded to my singing. Sink beneath the tides. Okay, let's do this now. Doing it just once, hoping for the ring to drop or this armor. This armor would let me like six link my damaging skill straight up. Really nice drop when you get it really early. Let's try swapping for the howling girl. Buying a new one because the old one is uh, low level. Yeah, the damage is way lower, but it will scale better later on, I believe. You should have woken up from this dream a long time ago. It will scale way better later on. Crossed by inflicted when defeating group in enemy minus 20% current cooldown of potion and mobility skills. Spell damage. Max charges. Oh, let's me blink twice. Converse mana cost to life cost. Okay. Well. We'll see if I kill myself with it. This need to look for some life regen or a regain would work as well. Or maybe even just craft some life regen region on one of my rings. <coughs> this here. And recycle everything. Rayhan isn't here, right? Phew, I really yeah, I'm don't losing hear life now. Again. Look at all the guards. The Wolfgang's leader must be nearby. You brats dare trespass. 
It doesn't matter because I should be able to use my healing skill more often now. So I just need to get into the habit of using my uh, regen skill more often. The tide still hasn't responded to my singing. And just get through the maps fast. Uh, area is level 31, I am level 29. <coughs> Should be still okay. As long as, as it is within like uh, 5 levels, it should be okay. Now this boss is done. You just have to go through some of her phases. It was really quick. Church hideout seems to be a good option. I'm very familiar with that. Might even try <coughs> creating a new character and try to get through the first chapter with this skill instead. The tide still hasn't responded to my singing. Yeah, here we'll do. Let's go smash the parish. We'll see. I'm ju just to try it. What is this? You can just open map, you don't need to go through the entire town. You can just open map, enter the new location, save some time by doing that. Uh, damage penetration later on, just want to get my attack and cast speed. Chance to inflict element. Okay, let's go for the penetration here. For the well, cold beam, you don't need this. You don't need to convert physical damage to cold. But it also gives me frost by chance and some cold damage, so I will keep that. Just so I don't like swap <coughs> points around for pretty much no reason. You could go for energy shield regain or critical strike chance. In my skills, I'm also reducing the critical strike chance. <coughs> so, oh, no, not anthem. I need the leveling one. Revival. Two. <coughs> Three points. I will keep swapping the the XP gain ones for the movement speed ones as I'm able to open the last uh, uh, notes on the tree. We will see it if you watch this series. Uh, Fridge transmission. Uh, do I need anything on this? I think I don't, but I can put. Because I'm freezing everything all the time. I can put... Uh, periodic Burst on that. To get attack and cast speed every now and then. Every 6 seconds for 2 seconds, which will increase my damage. Let's go. Listen carefully. This is my dirge for you. The tide still hasn't responded to my singing. I will not let you die like this. Lean Stanton. He's probably inside. Nothing can stop me. And just blink through the maps as fast as possible and level up in the next trove pretty much. That's what I will do. I mean kill whatever monsters you come by on the run. But no need to kill many mobs because you can level up in the troves really, really fast. And in case you like fall behind a lot, like I'm three levels behind, but as you can see I'm catching up pretty fast. You can always go to the previous trough and catch up with levels a bit. Uh, 
shaking. The first five phase of the boss done and I wasn't even in the fight. You should have woken up from this dream a long time <laughs> Okay. Ago. I forgot to use my auto my healing skill. Relax. I need to use the healing skill cause no the gloves one. convert mana cost to life cost. So I need to use healing skill for that. Penetration, what do we have here? Resistances. Okay. More packed spirit points. Let's put them into. Doesn't remember where I put them. Let's take damage here. Do the side quest down here. The church's guards are garrisoned here. You. It's you. That survivor. Things recorded in this spark experiment. Don't have you respond to my thing. What a horrible sight. What have they done? Look over there. Someone's still alive. Just an PC. Thank you. Praise the Holy Spirit. Second NPC. Thank you for saving me. Third NPC. Saved. No. The Holy Spirit. And we can continue. They are finally saved. Let's exit there. Responded to my singing. Wait, something doesn't feel right. See that? Those guards are now dead. That means my, my big. The corner of the world. This test subject. Can't believe there's another floor. Where on earth is Lean hiding? This door is locked. Partner, we need to find a way to unlock it. It seems like someone locked those crusaders inside. I'm here, I'm approaching the next trove. Level 35. I'm level what? 34. So I'm still pretty much even. Ouch. That's it, level 36 from one trove. Dropped something, let's check what that is. Wow. Yeah, there probably won't be 
an upgrade for that for quite a while now. So yeah, added cold damage, <coughs> spell damage, skill area, everything you need. Got it there. Now just zoom to the next zone. Well, so far the leveling is really smooth. I mean, the first part was slow. From the point where you can start using the ice beam. It's really fast. More movement speed, projectile speed, cast speed, some life as well. Really nice amulet to get well level in. Defeat Keegan. Is this what you wanted by becoming a devil? I'll burn you to ashes. I'll hide here. That's it. So here I'm taking, finishing the penetration. I'm inflicting only f like frostbite, so this is like another 4% elemental penetration. And here I'm taking one point for life regen, just to help me regenerate in the life. And 10 damage from focus blessings.
and for the large passive max channel stacks additional damage for everyone max channel stacks so yeah that's just additional damage it's easy choice here I could swap to winter later on we'll see like max focus blessings is really nice to have here and like guaranteed focus blessing generation for free it's also nice to have so yeah Oh, so that's it. Um, in the next town, completing pretty much the next chapter. That been chapter two. Got a slot for our first uh, skill, uh, passive skill. I will take summon thunder spirit because that gives me attack speed and cast speed. Let's you charge up the beam faster. And it should probably shoot the additional projectiles faster as well. I'm not sure how this skill works. Please select the calibration intensity for invincibility number two. But yeah, as you can see, damage is really high. I can definitely recommend Icebound Beam for leveling. Because the skill rocks. Uh, another choice here would be Ice Imbue. It would give you chance to frost by enemies. And then the frozen enemies would explode when they die. Or you can use like any other imbue that would give you flat damage to your skill basically. So if you are still using the uh, Howling Gale you can use Acuteness imbue as well. That increases the damage of Howling Gale percentage wise. Yeah, so that would be it. This for skills I swap to Icebound Beam, 3 chance added called damage and control spell. Compound source without with auto charge. If you got these gloves, uh, minus 20% current cooldown of potion and mobility skills when defeating frostbitten enemy, or frostbitten frostbiting enemies all the time. So this recharges the healing skill a lot faster. But this recharges the skill on bosses, so they'll keep that. And just to make it last forever even when you tap it when your life is full you can put on deciduous which increases the restoration level but the restoration uh, restoration uh, uh, duration but it also uh, means that uh, or does uh, that the restoration effect cannot be removed so when you are on full life the restoration effect is still on so yeah, really nice to have. Frigid Transmission. Resetting this cooldown of Frigid Transmission with every freeze. Uh, you will be freezing everything with Icebound Beam as you've seen. So Frigid Transmission just resets this cooldown all the time. So what I did, I just put on peri Periodic Burst to give me more cast speed. That's that. Flurry Steps for movement speed and mana ball for some additional spell damage <coughs> so that's it for the build thank you guys for watching i will see you in the chapter 3 that i will start in the next video bye